The Dark Side of Track and Field Are you ready for the five worst doping scandals that shook the sporting world? If you're ready for that, stay with me to the end. I'm going to be sharing that with you. Hey friends, welcome back to Athletes Group. It's a place where we talk all things athletes, the place where we have lively discussions about our athletes without demeaning them or disrespecting them in any way. Friends, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel to help us to reach more sports fans. You know, that's how the algorithm works here on YouTube. You have to engage with us, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for YouTube to push our videos out to more people. Welcome back to the Athletes Group YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be delving into the thrilling yet controversial world of track and field. I'm going to unveil the shocking stories behind the five worst doping scandals that rock the sporting world. Let's dive right into it. Now, the first scandal that I dub the fall of Ben Johnson from hero to zero. And yes, the first one is Ben Johnson. And for those of my sports fans who've been watching sports for a while, you know, Ben Johnson is a Canadian and he ran mostly the 100 meter race for his accomplishment. You know that he ran the fastest 100 meter race at the time, which was 9.79 seconds. But that became illegal due to his doping scandal. Another important note is that that time was achieved during the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Ben Johnson's event was the 100 meter race and his best time was 9.79, which was a world record. But it is to be noted that Ben Johnson's fastest time of 9.79 seconds, like I said, was disqualified due to his positive doping test. He was found to be taking, you know, illegal drugs according to the rules and guidelines of the sport. And based on the outcome of that trial, Johnson's rise came crashing down when he tested positive for that, that anabolic steroid. He tested positive for the anabolic steroid, that S-T-A-N-O-Z-O-L-O-L name, leading to the most notorious scandal in Olympic history. The outcome of Ben Johnson's trial was that he was found positive for the drug and as a result of that, he was stripped of his gold medal after testing positive for the, the drug. And the record of 9.79, that record was totally removed. He did not have that record anymore. So that is just the time that he ran. Nobody recognizes that, right? The second scandal is Marion Jones and I dub her the Queen's Dethroning and uh, I'm thinking that Marion Jones I loved that athlete until I found out about the enhancement drugs and all of that there's no need for it it's either you work hard or you just get out of the sports because we want to see the natural talent plus the training right so marion jones is an american athlete and she ran the 100 and 200 meter races her accomplishment marion jones was like the superwoman she got five olympic medals at the 2000 sydney olympics three gold three gold two bronze her doping scandal was in 2007 to be exact, October 5, 2007. And the doping trial outcome of that Marion Jones case, Jones admitted to using performance enhancement drugs and was stripped of all her medals, receiving a two-year suspension. So in addition to her losing the five medals, 
she got a two year suspension for doing that. All right. And you know how it works with the Olympics. Those athletes who would have come behind, let's say she got the first, the athlete who came second, third, fourth, they would have moved up to first, second and third. But I mean, they took the glory from those persons who came behind, especially the fourth place, because that person would have now be third and she would have not have gotten the glory or the recognition that she should have gotten if if she had actually gotten her medals at the day or at the time of the Olympics. So yes, the second on our list is Marian Jones and she was stripped of her medals and she was given the two year suspension. The third person on my list is, do you wanna guess? Tyson Gay. And I dub Tyson Gay the Speedsters Stumble. And I say that because Tyson Gay was fast. He was fast beyond belief. I'm going to be honest with you. When you see that guy, you want to see more of him. And it's just sad that what transpired with him actually did because it never had to be like that. Right? So yes, our third person is Tyson Gay. And as you know, Tyson Gay is an American athlete. He ran the 100 and 200 meters. And his accomplishment, he has numerous medals, including a silver medal at the 2012 London Olympics. And he was the fastest man over 100 meters for a while with a time of 9.69 seconds. He was also the fastest over 200 meter at one time with a time of 19.58 seconds. And the date, the date of the doping scandal was thrown about July 2013. The doping trial outcome. No, Gay received the one year suspension after, and this is important, after cooperating with the anti-doping authorities. So I'm thinking that if he did not cooperate, he would have gotten a longer suspension. So even though he, he took his one year suspension and came back, he was never the same. The doping related suspension affected his reputation, right? People looked at him as if he was taking drugs just the same. So to me, he would not perform this best because if he ran fast, people, are gonna say he's on drugs again. The fourth person on my list is Marian Jones. I must be saying, but she's on the list already. And I said yes, because if you remember the Marian Jones situation, there was more to her getting that two year suspension when things got worse for her, all right? So like I said, she ran the 100 and 200 meter plus the relays, and it is from the same doping scandal in 2007. In addition to losing her medals from the 2000 Olympics, Jones was sentenced to six months in prison for lying to federal investigators about her drug use. In addition to her two-year suspension, she was sentenced to six months in prison for lying to federal investigators after her drug use. So since then, Marion Jones has not recovered. I'm going to be honest with you. She has had a hard time since then. And I'm going to be doing a video on, you know, what most of these athletes are doing now. So you can see their transition. Okay. If you want to see that video, drop a yes in the comments section. All right. So the next one, the last one on my list is Justin Gatlin. As you know, Justin Gatlin, I dubbed him the comeback kid with a controversial past. And I dubbed him that because, as you know, he came back so strong. So like I said, Justin Gatlin is an American athlete. He ran the 100, 200 plus the sprint relays. As you know, he actually got several medals. He has the fastest time back in the day of 9.74 seconds. And in the 200 meter, 19.57. As you can see, he has 
a lower time than Tyson Gay in terms of the 200 meter race. He got a gold medal in the 2004 Olympic Games. His doping scandal date was sometime in 2006. Not sure the exact time, but sometime in 2006. All right, so the doping trial outcome. Justin Gatlin received multiple doping suspensions throughout his career, including the last one, which was a four-year ban for a positive test in 2006. And I think the doping authority people, they were just tired of Gatlin and they wanted him out of the sports. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's all me. And they gave him that four-year ban. But during that time, like I was saying, Justin was training, training, training. And when he got back, if you remembered, I think the last race that Usain Bolt did, Justin Gatlin actually beat him, right? Because he came back and he came back strong. That's just how his career went. So that's it for those five worst doping scandals. These doping scandals serve as a reminder that even in the world of athletics, there can be dark moments. There can be very dark moments. Let's continue to celebrate the clean athletes because they work hard. They work overtime to perform naturally, right? Without enhancements. And let's uphold the integrity of the sports because the sports, we love the sports and we want to see clean, competitive sports. So if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more sports content. And remember, if you are coming here for the first time, please consider to subscribe to our channel. I talk to you soon. More blessings.